Yeah, we do, Sean. Soon. Hopefully soon. Hey. What's hey, what's going on? What's up? Not much. You still in Colorado? Nah. Nah, I'm, okay. I'm back at home. So. Okay. How was that time out there? Uh, it was good. It was it was fun. It was good. It was cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you looking good in the gym. How did that happen? You got out there with T-Bud and Bo Mac and all of them. Uh, Well, we had, you know, my dad had uh, called him up and uh, told him told him everything and stuff. Like, you know, we want to um, work with him. So, uh, okay. So he just he gave us a call and he got us out there. Okay, so you're real. Now, I know everybody called you Lolo. What's up? I sound like him. But your name was Charles, right? Yeah. It's your government, Charles Harris. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you four and one. So you had your fights with over in Mexico, all of them. Yeah. All okay, because you're sep you're seventeen, right? Yeah. All right. So what you fighting at one thirty? Yeah, one thirty. Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, you you're young. You haven't even you have nowhere near your man strength. So tell me mm -hmm. how that was your first five fights over in Mexico. How was that? Um, it was it was fun. It was a good experience to be out there and okay. um travel down there to fight. So it was good. Somebody said, "Are you Floyd's son?" <laughs> Wait, you get that a lot? Actually, you, are you Floyd's son? Nah, that's the first one. Nobody. So got your dad called up Bo and, and sent you out to Colorado Springs. So how was that experience sparring and stuff out there? Did you spar um Shakur? You was out there? Nah, nah. I okay, didn't spar okay. Shakur, but who who, it, who it you spar? I know I saw you sparring. Uh, what's the kid name? Michael. You sparred him, right? Nah, not Michael. I spar uh the Michael. The Michael. The uh, six foot, that? the one, the uh, six foot one at 130. Is that the one that Shakur keeps sparring? Is that the Michael? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, how mm -hmm. was that work? It was good work, too. He good work. So, it was all, uh, you know, we helping each other out. So, it was good. Okay. So, 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 why Bo? Why Bo and Bud and all of them? Why your dad reached out to him? Dang. Uh, well, uh, Bud, my favorite fighter. So, mine but, too. <laughs> no, he, <laughs> he reached, out to, uh, reached out to him because obviously, you know, he's doing something right. So, yeah. Deal with that that um right team. Absolutely. When's your sixth fight? Uh, we don't know yet. Okay. Yeah, we don't know yet. Still in Mexico? Or are you gonna wait till you t try to get a license over here? What, what, what are you doing? It might be on uh TV for my next one. Really? Yeah, TV for your next one. Probably okay. on top rank. So. Oh, see. okay. Nice. Yeah. So, how mm -hmm. was your amateur career? Uh, my amateur career was good. I was a uh, what fifty six and eight. 56 and 8. Four, four times. Is, this your, is this your mom right here? I'm Shamise? Yeah, that's my mom. What's up, mom? <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah. All right, so you're back home now. When are you going back out there? Because the work, I'm sure you got some good work when you was out there. Look like you. I mean, I was watching you. I was trying to watch both of the rings. It was hard, but I, yeah. I, I was watching you. So. Yeah, it was it was good work. Um, I don't know when, we, uh, when we'll be back out there, but soon, I think soon, like uh, yeah. like uh, like two, three weeks or something, we might be back. Uh, okay, be back. nice. How long did you stay? Uh, a week for okay. this one. Yeah. So is Bo gonna be like your official in your corner? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So. I like Bo. I think that he's uh, he works really well with his fighters. Not only that, he knows a lot too. Yeah, he does. Yeah, because I had him um, actually was speaking to Bill Devin Haney's dad. He wants to send him out there. Like obviously, this man is doing something right. I mean, he got the number one fighter in the world. So yeah. But just, just right. the way speaking to him about boxing, like he knows a lot. Yeah, he does. So, he, yeah, he know all of his stuff. So that's definitely. good. Definitely. Do you watch boxing now, other than T-Bud? Uh, yeah, like, but not like the. Uh, I don't really go back to like the old school or nothing. But so just the new ones. Who you watching right now? My man, my phone about to die. And you said who do I watch right now? Yeah. Uh, no, wait, hold on. Bud. Don't tell me you gotta allow me your phone about to die. What is on like two percent young people? It's not, it's good. Now we good for the whole life. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so who you watch, watch right now? Uh, Shakur, Bud, Spence. Uh, you know, um. A lot of the uh, young ones right now. Just so. Nice. Of mm -hmm. course, everybody watched the core, Bud spent. So I got to ask you, what you think about that Pacquiao Spence fight? I'm going to tell you what I think when you're done, but what you think about that fight? Dang. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen because I ain't, like, it just like happened out of nowhere. But I think uh, that's going to be a great fight. I don't know who to pick in that one. That's the one that like a 50 50. Really? Yeah, that's a 50 50 fight for me. <laughs> I'm gonna um I'm gonna say that he's gonna beat him into retirement. I'm sorry, but I just don't who, see who is I, uh, Spence gonna beat Manny into retirement. Uh, look, I'm a huge Manny fan. He's the future Hall of Famer. He's one of the greats. Let's just talk about the fact that first he hasn't fought in two years. Yeah, 2019 right. January. You fighting one of the which is my second number one. Right. One of the baddest. He. I don't think he's gonna be able to keep him off of him. I think he's gonna be too strong, too big. I think he's gonna stop him. That's just my <laughs> opinion. 
<laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I think that's Pac, Pac still got it. He, he got some of it, not what he had before. But even if you think about what he had before, I don't think even back in his prime he would have beat Spence. I just feel like Spence would have been too much for him. That's just my opinion. First of all, he would have been too small. If you know, if he wasn't juicing, I don't know because I still think Manny used to juice because he moved yeah. up eight divisions and carried his power in all those divisions. So that's a little suspect to me. But I think that um, he's biting off more than he could chew. Respect to him, but I think he's only beat up. That's <laughs> my opinion. So I, I don't know. That's so, just so what he, I feel. So you say he gets I don't know if you know. Early in his career, he got stopped with a body shot. Now we know Spence is a body shot specialist. So Man, that's true. That's true. That's true. You know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. That's. I just feel like that's like all in all, it's gonna be a good fight though. Definitely. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. And the fight and the fight he had with Thurman was close, and to me, the only difference was the knockdown because right. you know Thurman got knocked down and he came back and did what he had to do. But I think he gonna stop him. But yeah. I wanted that. I wanted that fight for Bud, not just for the fight for the money too. But right. You know. Yeah. I, I didn't expect that to happen. It came out me of nowhere. It came out of nowhere, right? Yeah, it did. Okay, so back to you. You watching the fights tonight? Yeah, I am. I'm about to watch him. Uh, I'm on my uh, cousins right now, so I'm gonna watch you. Okay. I'm gonna watch. So you fight. basically watching me off the live? I'm kidding. <laughs> wait, wait what'd you say? I said you gonna watch me off the live. Your phone <laughs> off the live. You better watch boxing with them. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just playing. So are you signed yet? No, nah, I'm not signed yet. Not yet. Okay. okay. Soon, soon. Soon. You know, if you get on a card like a top rank card on TV, that's right. That's gonna that's, be dope. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the. You know, I don't want to say too much, but I know, know. I'm not sure. I got you. <laughs> when the last time you fought? Uh, what, like a couple weeks? No, I think yeah, like a couple weeks ago. Okay, so hopefully you'll be back before the end of this year. Yeah. Let me oh, ask. Yeah. I asked all of the young fighters I have on here. How was it training and making your pro debut and all of that through COVID? Through was COVID. Hard? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a little hard at the beginning, but after that, um, the gym, like you know. All you, you got to do is like wear a mask and you're good. Just check, get your temperature temperature check. Okay. So you stay in the gym even through all of this, all of the COVID and everything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just I got you. Mm -hmm. That's definitely what's up. You. What made you decide to go pro as opposed to maybe staying in the amateurs a little longer? Like what, what came about with this decision? How do you make this decision? Uh, Well, when I was in amateurs, like I got to a point where I was like, I'm, I'm ready. Like I want to make the next step. Like, I know, uh, felt confident, and my uh, my dad felt confident everything, so we just took the next step. How was it in the amateurs? Was it that system that you really couldn't get with, with the point system, and you really can't, you know? Oh, well, well, I don't know. Like, I got, I got, um, of course, I got, like, robbed a few times, but yeah, I, after yeah. that, I went on, like, a, a good, like, winning streak, and I just kept, like, kept winning, kept winning. And then I had, uh, that's how I got on the team, on the Olympic team at, uh, what was that? Like the tournament before this last one in uh, Louisiana, but it was at Louisiana. The oh, the one, the one in Louisiana. Oh, okay, but not yeah. the one that just happened. Okay, yeah, not the one, the one before they uh, got okay. me on the team. So, yeah, I was on the winning streak. So mm -hmm. nice. And then after that, you decided to go ahead and go pro. Why in Mexico? Was it because of your age? Yeah, because my it's age. Hard to get. Okay. I, I started at sixteen. So. Oh, you were sixteen. I think didn't Canelo go like pro like fifteen? Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah, fifteen. Yeah. Nice. So you've been pro for like almost two years now. Yeah, almost, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm hoping that you get signed with somebody over here and you get on TV and we get to see, you know. Mm-hmm, yeah. Get to see. That's I know good. you said you don't watch any old school, but did you watch any growing up? Any Floyd or Pinnell, Sugar? Uh, nah. No? I don't really. Nah, I ain't, I, wouldn't, I ain't really watch it like that. Okay. Sometimes I go back, like, uh, once in a while, like on YouTube, I go back and watch them, you know. Some of the old fights. Yeah, but so you pretty much just doing your own thing, just doing your own boxes, and you only watch yeah, it yeah, okay. just just kind of like you know focus on myself nice. at the same time. I'm but. I'm just asking because what I saw in the gym, like people was talking, like you you you, you nice. I yeah. told you I was trying to look between both rings, but I saw you like you know sparring <laughs> and everything. So yeah, mm -hmm. I like what I saw so far. So how how your Thank dad you. feel about the work you got out there? How does he feel about what? The work he got out in uh, Colorado Springs. Oh, oh, he, he, happy? he loved it. He loved it okay. too because you know he was he uh, he just sent me out there. He didn't go out there with me, so okay. uh, he loved it too when I told him about it. Was he training you for your first five fights in Mexico? Uh, yeah, in he was, he was okay. a part of it. Yeah. All right, so now you're gonna have Bomac. That's 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 amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's amazing. That's I'm I'm, I'm happy for you. So hopefully, when you get your next fight, you, you can come on here and talk about it a little more when you know yeah. for sure what it is yeah. and. When I know when the uh, official date is and everything. 
I, I got a feeling I know, but text me. No, I'm kidding. So when you, got, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. When you, when you know for sure, we we get you on here and we'll talk. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. One more thing. Who you got tonight? Ramirez or Taylor? I got Taylor. Who you got? I got I got Taylor too. <laughs> By what stoppage? I don't know about stoppage. I, maybe decision. Probably decision. I say. But you but got him in, in, in a clear win, decisive uh, win. Uh, dang. I don't know about clear, but I think I think he'll pull it off. I saw. I do too. Taylor pull it off. That's what I'm going for. So. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, Big Low. Um, so All we'll right. get you back on here when you when you get your fight date and everything, and um. Yeah. Make sure your phone got some juice so you won't have to be pushing buttons and shit. Nah. <laughs> 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 oh, what division are you in? One thirty, right? One thirty, yeah. Okay. Better wait. All right, so we we looking forward to your journey and you know seeing how you, right now. Like I said, what I saw, I like. So. Thank you, thank Somebody you. Somebody said Mayweather pick him up. Well, you already <laughs> know. I didn't love. All right, thank you for having me. Of course, anytime. All right.